Susan Brownell Anthony was the chief organiser and strategist of the 19th century movement for woman suffrage. From the time she met Elizabeth Cady Stanton in 1851 until her death, Anthony worked full-time to mobilise a political movement dedicated to gaining women's equality. Born in South Adams, Massachusetts in 1820, Anthony was the daughter of Lucy Reed and Daniel Anthony. She received a Quaker education and worked as a teacher for a decade, joining the many poorly paid young women who taught in district schools. She returned to Rochester, New York, where her family settled in the 1840s. When she met Elizabeth Cady Stanton in 1851, she had discovered her talent for political organisation, specifically conducting petition campaigns to abolish slavery and outlaw liquor. In Stanton's vision of women's rights, Anthony found new motivation to pioneer as an organiser of women working in their own interest. After the Civil War, Anthony and Stanton launched a national effort to mobilise women to win suffrage for themselves. They began publishing a weekly newspaper, The Revolution, in 1868. They founded the National Woman Suffrage Association in 1869. To demonstrate that no political party could take women for granted, they shocked their Republican allies by appealing for a woman's suffrage plank to the Democratic National Convention in 1868. They explored alliances with labour unions, free love advocates, Marxists and marriage reformers. Their politics and their alliances contributed to the formation late in 1869 of the rival American Woman Suffrage Association, led by Lucy Stone. The National Association focused on national suffrage, in the belief that states did not have the constitutional power to deprive American citizens of their right to vote. After 1876, the National pushed hard for passage of a 16th constitutional amendment that would prohibit disfranchisement on account of sex. Anthony's strength in the 1880s was to build bridges between suffragists and the burgeoning women's movement. She courted the Women's Christian Temperance Union, oversaw the founding of the International and National Councils of Women, and pursued the merger in 1890 of the National and American Associations into the National American Woman Suffrage Association. The expanding movement called for strong leadership. Anthony mediated differences over cooperating with Mormon women, clashes between white southerners and northern blacks, and collisions between secularists and evangelical Christians. She also tried to keep the national focused on winning suffrage from the federal government, rather than from each state. Anthony was 80 years old when she retired from the presidency of the national. She died at home in Rochester in March 1906.